working in Google Earth, measuring distance. In this video we will cover the use of the ruler tool in Google Earth. As you travel about the world, you may find it useful to measure the distance between two points. The ruler tool will accomplish this task and more. To begin, the ruler tool can be found in the toolbar menu above. It resembles a ruler. Imagine that. Select the ruler tool by clicking on its button. Aha! A new pop-up window appears. If this window obscures your view of the main window, you can drag it to another spot on your screen. Ah yes, that's better. Using the ruler tool is easy enough. Simply click on the Earth's surface at one point and click again on another. The distance between those two points is displayed in the pop-up window. Yes, it's that easy, but that's not all. There are two tabs situated at the top of the ruler's pop-up window entitled Line and Path. We've already covered how to measure using the line setting. Click once on a spot and click again on another. But what does the path setting do? With the path setting selected, you can measure the total distance of a series of points. From here, to there, to there. Just click on each succession of points and the ruler tool will keep track of the total distance. This is a helpful option because you aren't limited to a straight line distance between only two points. With the ruler tool set to the path mode, you can measure zigzags or curves or whatever you wish. Isn't that exciting? By now, no doubt you've noticed that you can change the units of measure you work with. In the pop-up window you can select between centimeters, meters, kilometers, inches, feet, yards, or miles, as well as nautical miles, smooths, and degrees. Yes, smooths. Look it up. From time to time, you may find it necessary to measure to a point not visible in the main window. There are several solutions to this predicament. The most immediate remedy is accomplished by zooming your view out. In fact, all of the navigation tools are at your disposal while you are in the process of measuring with the ruler. A similar option is to use the directional keys on your computer's keyboard. If you want to measure the distance between specific locations, such as cities, you can use the flight to feature in the left sidebar's search menu. Type the name of a city in the search box and click on the magnifying glass. Repeat the process with another city. You will see your location results displayed below. Now, if you use the ruler tool and click on one of your cities, you will be able to reach outside of the main window and select the other city from the search results in the sidebar menu. You will see that the ruler tool is measuring the distance as you travel from one city to the other. Isn't that dandy? That should cover it. Practice using the ruler tool. You can go a mile or more in Google Earth.